The Great White North fights back against COVID-19. Canadian universities are front and center tackling this crisis and tracing its impact on our lives. This is Universities Fight COVID-19 from Radio Western. Each episode, we tell you about COVID-19 related research and commentary coming out of Canadian universities. Today's episode is from Western University. Black and immigrant communities in Canada are disproportionately affected by COVID-19. Western researchers came to this conclusion after analyzing COVID-19 data from the Public Health Agency of Canada and Canada's census data about race and socioeconomic status. There are multiple stories of immigrants and racialized people being pushed to the front lines of our economy, working in places with greater exposure to COVID-19. There are stories of immigrant groups and temporary migrants tightly packed in city neighborhoods and communal quarters, unable to practice physical distancing. The researchers confirmed these anecdotal stories with facts. They found that regions with a higher percentage of black residents have significantly higher COVID-19 infection rates. They found that black and immigrant communities like Hamilton, Vancouver and Montreal are particularly vulnerable COVID-19 hotspots. The oil sands of Northeast Alberta and the mining sites of Western Quebec hire large numbers of temporary migrant workers who live in crowded living quarters. These two are also potential hotspots. The study shows just how important it is to collect individual data about COVID-19 patients and going deep into local communities. It will help direct scarce resources and determine how to contain the COVID-19 spread. We must acknowledge the challenges faced by Black and immigrant communities in Canada and their vulnerability to COVID-19. If we don't, the inequality between them and other groups will only grow. For example, Black and immigrant groups were not classified as vulnerable populations in the Ontario government's COVID-19 action plan for vulnerable people. They were excluded, even though their risks of infection and death are significantly higher than some of those groups identified as vulnerable under this plan. If we don't create policies aimed at these communities, their future health disadvantages will increase. This story was adapted from a Western News article written by Kate Choi, Anna Zayakova, Michael Han, and Patrick Denise. All are sociology professors and researchers at Western. Han is a Canada Research Chair in Migration and Ethnic Relations.